Today we are talking about everybody's favorite luxury candle, Diptyque. My, my favorite luxury candle. Diptyque is like the it girl candle company. Um, you see these repurposed all the time. I use them for like little vials of perfume, Q-tips. I really like a candle where you can repurpose the container. First, I wanted to show all of the different sizes of these Diptyque candles. It's like a Russian doll over here. Look at this. It really is. Um, this was a set I got from the Nordstrom sample sale. I don't know if they sell this on their website or if it was an exclusive, but these are the tiniest little candles I've ever seen that were like, not just a sample. So tiny. <laughs> what it is, it's, it's like, okay. So tiny. So tiny because look at it. Okay. Oh, now it is a fully Russian doll. Like it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is the biggest one you can get. It is crazy expensive. You can look it up. I'm not gonna say prices on here because I'm this guy. I bought this one years ago. I light it about once a year, if that. It's indoor outdoor candle, so it lights a, or it it sends like the whole neighborhood when you light it up. It's five wicks. Wow. It's ceramic. Um, that's more John Wick's, that's more Wick's than John, <laughs> that's more Wick's than John Wick. Aren't they making two more? Yeah, they're shooting back to back. There would be five total? We, we gotta have a Wick, Wick chat at have some point. Have we seen three? We've seen all three. By the way, Ashley's a huge John Wick fan. Because he got me when they talked about... The dog. Yeah. And it was like, she was like, oh, I feel I'm like him. I would do that. If somebody, if somebody hurt me, I would go after them. Yeah. Hard. Anyway, um, that's Wick chat. This is Candle chat. So this is the biggest one. It's very <laughs> expensive. Um, I got it because that Instagrammer, Kate Levy, I don't, I'm not sure. She had it and I was like, well, obviously I need one, whatever. I got it years ago. I light it once a year. Um, next size. A more reasonable price, still very expensive, but also like a ceramic container, three wick, very nice. You can reuse this. This is the standard size. Um, this is a limited edition one, which is why it looks like this. We know how you about feel about limited edition, which means you I gotta, like you gotta have it. Yeah, but this is a standard size. I think they're $65, which in the world of luxury candles isn't absolutely insane. Um, this is the mini size that you can get. Do I just smell this? Yeah. I don't know, I held it up. <laughs> um, this is like the teeny, 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 tiny, like teeny, tiny. Yeah. That's like a little, I don't know if this is a one burn or what, but these like little, are the different uh, sizes. Wendy's Frosty size. Yeah. You can't buy these individually. I think it just came in that set of five. I bought them so we can review the scents. But yeah, so that's these, just sizing straight up, okay? Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. So the classic diptyque scent is Baze. I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong, is it like B A S E? B A I. Oh okay. B A I E S. Because I would think it should be called like base, like it's their base smell. No, oh. it's a French brand. Oh. From Petty. So <laughs> they're very fancy. But yeah, this is their signature scent. So smell any of these; they're all the same. Okay. I mean, does this one, does it supposed to smell? Yeah. I don't feel like I don't get like a lot of smell from this one. When it is lit, that's a different story. It yeah. lights up the whole place. Okay, smell like this okay. one. Right. For sure, I feel like I've smelled this in our apartment before. Because when I light this, you can smell yeah. it everywhere. The throw is incredible, but it's also because it's freaking massive. I like this, I like it a lot. What do you think it smells like? I don't know, it's like, the, with the last one, it's like there's so many things going on that I can't, pinpoint one particular smell or what it smells like. It's just a, it's just a vibe. What's the vibe? The vibe is like chill. It's their berry scent, but like, I feel like if you know Diptyque, you've probably smelled this. Um, it's sweet, it's kind of floral. I agree with all those things. Can I, I smell feel, it one more time? I feel like when I light this one, the throw is so intense that it, it can kind of be overpowering, but in a smaller one, it's good. It kind of smells like what you want, like an air freshener to smell like, but air fresheners are always just like smell bad. This smells really good. Okay. It is a little like heady, like perfumey, I think. What's this like? It's like a black layer on top of it. Is that what keeps it from smelling? It's wax. From... It's black wax. Well, because this is the short throw. What is this called again? The cold throw? Cold throw. Okay. So is that. I mean, this one is covered in dust. 
<laughs> because it's been you know, on I, the shelf. I think I can smell this one more. I don't know if I smelled anything in this. Yeah, yeah, you can. And I lit this one recently. I lit it when you did made Korean barbecue because everything smelled like meat. And that, I okay. It. I need like a power punch of scent. <clears throat> Quick tangent, if someone could make a Korean barbecue scented candle, I am in on that. I am not and we will not light it in our homes. Okay, so that mini set from the Nordstrom anniversary sale um, came with five of their more popular fragrances. So we're just gonna review those. Okay. I don't know, like a like a more like a floral kind of scent. I don't really know. What's I can actually going smell all of these now that they're in front of me. It's like a lot. This is fig. Okay. It's sweet. It's like it has a little like earthiness to it, so it's not just straight fig. I think I think it smells really good. Okay, now I, I when you tell me it's like I, I feel like I can smell it more. <laughs> is that how it works? Um, do you like it? Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. I like all these so far. I mean, I guess there's been two, but I like them both. Don't look at the label, actually. Okay. Just smell. Ooh. This is my fave so far. Really? It smells like cotton candy, but like, I like it. Mm. It smells like cotton candy. No. You know, there are some cotton candy at Home Goods that I actually want to try. I bet it's so gross. It's been so bad, but I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't had cotton candy in a while. Those roses, I saw it's, the label. It's roses. Okay. And it's like, it's not too powdery, but it's also not my favorite of their fragrances. Yeah, I have cotton candy. It's called cotton candy. That's absolutely wrong. Okay, smell this one. Woo! Definitely like darker. My go-to anytime I smell something like this is like tobacco now because I feel like tobacco is in a lot of these scents. But or are like you a, like actually burning... smelling that? No, it's more like it, I'm just trying to like, I, I smell like like something burning. So that's why I think tobacco. It smells like a tr like potpourri is burning. Okay, that makes more sense. Because it's it's not just straight. Oh, like, my, earthy. my nose is like itchy after that one. Yeah, it's not straight earthy. I don't know about that. Okay. Ooh, it feels like expensive baby powder. <laughs> it feels it like feel, no, it smells like my nose is like getting itchy after smelling all these. Jesus. Ooh. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen John Mayer talk about this candle, oh my gosh, you she have loves to, John Mayer. You know, he doesn't post like anymore on Instagram, and it's a real shame because he's so funny. But he has a highlight on his page where he talks specifically about this diptyque candle, and he calls it Futter Boys. And he'll be like, This candle, this candle is absolutely Futter Boys. And it's funny. Is my favorite thing. This smells like tobacco. This one smells like it's Futter Boys. Tobacco? Mm-hmm. I don't know, this I, feel, one, I get like a powdery no, your, smell to it. Your nose is off. I like this one. I think I would get a full size of this one. Um, yeah, and then uh, other diptyque scents that I really liked are the hazelnut one. That's my favorite. Mimosa is really good. And diptyque candles burn really well. They burn evenly. They're clean candles. This is so tiny. I actually like wonder how long the burn time on this is. Like five hours? Five hours? I mean, it is So what's the burn time on the, big, on the big boy? And forever, because you never <laughs> light it. It's good I can't, you don't want to be PG. Forever. A long <laughs> time. Am I like, not supposed? <laughs> PG, long <laughs> time. <laughs> do a little bit. Yeah, I'll do, do the, the bleep. I'll, I'll do the bleep. But actually, the, the bleep is going to be you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these is your favorite? Um, I man, the cotton candy. It doesn't the, the smell cotton candy. like cotton yeah, candy. Yeah, cotton candy. I would say their roses is like a little bit too powdery for me. I really like a rose scent, but I like like damask, um, like a darker rose. I think this one is a little too powdery for me. I don't know Ooh, where you're getting candy. cotton candy. Oh, there's almost or like like a like cool blue Powerade. Yeah, I'm into it. Okay. What I would pick up for fall too would be Futta Boys. I don't even know how you really say that. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze after this is like. You a know, lot. we should get like a thing of coffee grounding. Oh yeah. Coffee grounds, coffee beans. Yeah. Coffee beans. As a control. Yeah, that's what they do. Um, follow along in the stories. I'll light some of these and give updates and rate them on my ten point scale. But I can tell you just from having had a bunch of dipty candles. They burn really well, they burn evenly, they're clean, the throw is great. 
And I feel like now they're not even as pricey as like a Byredo. Byredo. Right on. I think. I, I kind of lost you. I blacked out. I don't remember what you said. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Candle Chats episode three. Woo! Oh, what brand do you want to see next? Comment below. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Um, yeah. Well, below is, yeah, sure. Below. Comment below. Right on. Bye. Count chats. <laughs>